Brain researcher Susan DeSanti says diagnosing Alzheimer's disease is difficult because even the most common symptoms don't always lead to the disease. Just because you have mild cognitive impairment doesn't mean you're going to get Alzheimer's disease. There's no one technique that is used individually. If it would, that would solve a lot of our problems. So she and her colleague, Lisa Moscone, collaborated with others to develop software that they say will help tell the difference between a person who's just getting old and one who's on the road to Alzheimer's. As they reported in the journal Neurology, it combines information from two different types of brain scans to spot early changes to the hippocampus, a part of the brain known to be affected in Alzheimer's. What we are trying to do is to find a measure that would predict the decline from normal age into Alzheimer's disease. And it looks like the hippocampus is particularly involved in early Alzheimer's disease. The researchers tracked 53 healthy volunteers for up to 14 years. Using brain scans taken at the beginning of the study, the software accurately predicted a person's future mental decline about 80% of the time. Neuroscientist Luciano D'Addamio, who is not involved in the project, points out the other 20% is still a lot of people to get wrong. So you wanna, when you do a diagnosis, you want to have a diagnosis which is very uh, efficient and precise. So you don't want to uh, miss 10, 20 percent of the patients. But he adds that Moscone and DeSanti's new tool has great potential because the earlier you start therapy for Alzheimer's, the better. I'm Brad Closa.